everyone, Kate Verlatz here from Trinity Lutheran Church, Director of High School Ministry, and I am here to share with you story time. I'm super excited to read you one of my favorite book series, um, What Do You Do With a Problem? Written by Kobe Yamada. All right, here we go. I don't know how it happened, but one day I had a problem. I didn't want it. I didn't ask for it. I really didn't like having a problem, but it was there. Why is it here? What does it want? What do you do with a problem? I thought I wanted to make it go away. I shoot it. I scowled at it. I tried ignoring it, but nothing worked. I started to worry about my problem. What if it swallows me up? What if my problem sneaks up and gets me? What if it takes away all of my things? I worried a lot. I worried about what would happen. I worried about what could happen. I worried about this and I worried about that. And the more I worried, the bigger my problem became. I wished it would just disappear. I tried everything. I could hide from it. I even found ways to disguise myself, oh, but it still found me. The more and more I avoided my problem, the more I saw it everywhere. I thought about it all the time. I didn't feel good about it at all. I couldn't take it anymore. This has to stop, I declared. Maybe I was making my problem bigger and scarier than it actually was. After all, my problem hadn't really swallowed me up or attacked me. I realized that I had to face it. So even though I didn't want to, even though I thought I was really afraid, I got ready and I tackled my problem. When I got face to face with it, I discovered something. My problem wasn't really what I thought it was. I discovered that it had something beautiful inside. My problem held opportunity. It was an opportunity for me to learn and to grow, to be brave, to do something. It showed me that it was important to look closely because some opportunities only come once. So now I see problems differently. I'm not afraid of them anymore because I know they're secret. Every problem has an opportunity for something good. You just have to look for it. So now that I finished this book and the illustrations in it are super beautiful. Again, the title of this book is What Do You Do With a Problem uh, by Kobe Yamada. And it's a series of three that I have at home. So I'll hopefully be reading the other ones as well during story time. I just want to remind you guys as a family um, to also be practicing your faith five. 
where you share together your highs and lows each day. You read from the Bible, so pick some scripture, any scripture that's meaningful to you. You talk about that scripture and talk about your highs and lows. Do they relate? Do they not relate today? Where do you see God in your journey? Um, and then you're gonna pray together with and for each other about your highs and lows, about the things going on in your life. Um, giving each other a simple prayer is a wonderful way uh, to end the conversation. And then you bless one another. Make the sign of the cross on their forehead or their hand and say, child of God marked with the cross of Christ, you should go forth to welcome, connect, learn, and serve. Something great like that. You can do it. Hope you have a wonderful day.